on shield block like normal. Oh, it's fire bat. So this curves up actually pretty nicely. The risk is that once I get into four drop territory, I mean, um, five drop territory, drakes and auctioneers become very difficult for me to deal with. So he keeps three of his cards. The pleasure is mine. Oh gosh, if Firebat is I don't I have a feeling Firebat's not playing Mill Rogue. The 14 and 4 record isn't from today. The 14 and 4 oh, it's like it started 12 and 4. Um, from the previous time I streamed with this deck. And there are also two unre unrecorded games I played off stream in which I two owed two shaman decks. One of which was actually Firepad as well. I didn't play that well in those games, but the deck kind of carried me through. So backstab SI agent. Ha, this guy's tough. Okay, so no coin used. Um, I think the backstab was among cards that he kept. He kept. Which makes me quite scared, because in this matchup I wouldn't expect him to keep anything other than Auctioneer. And then outside of Auctioneer, he'd keep cards that are relevant to Auctioneer. So this looks like Van Cleef. I can kill this Van Cleef, or I can drop the Sludge Belcher. If he saps my Sludge Belcher, next turn I Corcoran plus Axid. If he doesn't, he kills the Sludge Belcher, and I just Axe it. I don't think his deck is about burst, but I know that he likes running the... The haha -ha guy, the 2-1 Charger with <laughs> uh, combo with Faceless. I have a strong feeling he has Auctioneer. No, I think it's too risky. I have to kill this. Um, based on the way he kept so many cards, it actually scares me that he might play Auctioneer, Prep, Sap, and um, basically I get wrecked, because with the Corcoran I can only kill one of the two things. Oh, this is also pretty bad. What now? If I use the Corcoran here, I don't have any way to kill an auctioneer.
So I made this sludge play assuming that he has Auctioneer in hand. Hmm. I think I also probably sh should have just gone for the Sludge Belcher play on turn 5. I think the likelihood of him having that exact combination of Auctioneer's Prep Sap might have been low enough to justify playing it, playing the Sludge Belcher. Sap by itself would have made me take 6 extra damage. So that would have been the inherent risk, which is much more likely play than Prep or Auctioneer Prep Sap. If he's thinking about this, then it's somewhat good news that he doesn't have an obviously easy play here. This guy's toast. Sorry about that. All right, so the other card he kept was an eviscerate. So Adam of Universe just link a variation more focused on the combo. And I see it. I actually do like the inclusion of shades. Um, because the whirlwind effects give you a damaged minion and also because it has stealth, people can't kill it right off the bat. And when it comes out of stealth, you can attack something, get it damaged, and do battle rage. Does your version still run battle rage? Yes it does. I mean, I can see that version using quite, uh, doing quite well. Okay, so I've taken a lot of damage. He used one sap just now. So he's either thinking about this... Or he's getting bitched at by his girl still. So let's see, he used both eviscerates. You can still sap double cold blood weapon. Might make sense to actually play the unstable ghoul here. in addition to my Sludge Belcher, or armor up behind the Sludge Belcher. Let's say I, I kill the Auctioneer, I play the Belcher, it gets sapped, he double colds blood, uh, that's 11, he weapons, um, he'll have two cards left. I mean, if I armor up, there's, there's no way he can kill me unless he has Shiv. or the South Sea Deckhand. I think dropping the second taunt is correct. So he's gonna have to drop a sap, kill the other guy, and I guess he only needs one cold blood. I forgot the damage that I take from the auctioneer. Wow, he's cycling hard. Okay, so I can start armoring up every turn. Uh, he still has yet to use Deadly Poison Blade Flurry. So I now want to do this. 
Yes, that's Sir D. With seven mana. I mean, I, I, I can risk the Blade Flurry. And then Deckhand, Cold Blood, Cold Blood kills me. So I feel like his best play is some sort of flurry here. So low up easy kill. Um, probably play the Frothing Berserker here. It's a little bit more resilient to the um, the flurry that could come. He hasn't played Thalnos. We get Thalnos flurry. Could battle rage. That wouldn't be able to do anything else. So Frothing is definitely the play here. Again, armor up every turn. Um, I feel like he's just gonna charge me out as soon as my taunts are gone. Someone asked why not golden cards? I don't have all the golden cards I need, and I prefer my deck to be uniform. It's too bad he played the Lothab, otherwise I would have been able to battle rage for a crap ton of cards. Um, even if he manages to somehow clear my board, I'm going to battle rage for one, since I'm in that position where I just need the cards, and I have all the mana to spend, and not enough things to spend it on. My eyes are open. Uh, he plays a Farseer, so he really just doesn't have a lot of action here. Yeah, a little bit of OCD. I like my things to be neat. I could battle rage for even more, but why bother? Um, I have 14 points of damage in hand. Each of these are worth 2. That's 4, so that's 8. 9 from the Taskmaster. Ten. Sixteen twenty six. Don't have lethal. I think this deck is better for laddering than usual control warrior. I don't know. I feel like it has a lot of surprise value and the matchups are different. I think control warrior is easier to play and all around I think just more consistent. Not to say this deck isn't consistent either, but I don't know. I feel like your game plan for control warrior is almost always the same. Whereas this deck, your game plan changes a lot. So 
that's both saps gone. At 14 life, he can still kill me. I kill him from 22. Fourteen, fourteen plus another four is eighteen. I think I'm short. I think he won. I should have gotten more damage last turn. No, actually, no, I think I have it with the War Axe. Painfully short. No problem. <laughs> but, but I can make it so you can't cast spells. Because he's gonna fatigue. So he needs to kill me without casting any spells or suiciding his own minion. Ah, he's got it. Deckhand. Nah, I should have armored up. Yeah, he had it. Well played. It's close. Really good game. Yeah, I should have swung with the Acolyte last turn. Just one point up. Just didn't count it. What?